Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Cobra Viper. Now, this is the Target exclusive. I did not get this from overseas, so it is out right now. Check your targets. Her, Tiger Force, Flint are both out, so you can get them. Street date was October 1st, so we, we're here, October 1st. So here we are. Pretty good looking figure, I guess. This is what a repaint truly is. Mix and match of a bunch of different things. Give you a ninja using all reused parts. Now, before anyone says, oh God, just another repaint. Stop it, you're a billion dollar corporation. Understand, billion dollar corporation is Hasbro. G.I. Joe is a million dollar property. You don't pull from one property to another. So the way you're supposed to make money is that you do repaints like this, it's cheap. And then when you gain profit, you put that back into it. This is not me shilling for, G for G.I. Joe or Hasbro. This is me just explaining how business works and how some of you refuse to understand, or maybe you just don't care. So you're gonna bitch and think, hey, you know what? Billion dollar company should give me what I want. It doesn't work like that. But we're here to look at this. I just wanted to explain it before people start bitching about it in the comments because i know they are and i'm sure people are gonna start bitching that i'm a shill i don't care anyway here we go i guess it looks decent we'll see how it actually looks when we pull the thing out again i don't know why python patrol needs a ninja but they gave it to us so here's the accessories and again this is just storm shadows accessories plus the mask which already came with the ninja two-pack the blue ninjas which i think is actually a really good two-pack uh, figures are a little bit better than i thought there you have the uh the artwork on the side again the same right there and there you have figure you have your file card number 88 not a file card just a code and there is the figure and again you can see the height you can see a couple little decos that they're highlighting uh Again, 5.7, so this thing is pretty small, to be honest. So this is a short figure, um, where a lot of these other figures we're seeing are, you know, 6.1, 6.3, 6.4. So she's going to be very tiny compared to the rest. So anyway, let's take a look at this. We'll get it open, make sure everything's in it, and we'll go from there. But before we do, I, mean, I, don't, I almost totally forgot. If you like the content that I'm giving you, if you like all this judge content, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. Now let's look at it. Okay, figure is out of the plastic free packaging. And again, I love the artwork. I think they did a really good job. Again, I hope they do keep this uh, when they go to the uh, plastic packaging as it comes back because I really just like this. Uh, being that it's in black and white and everything. It does look good. And then we have the weapons locker. Viper 88. Ups down, upside down Cobra symbol. And hey look. 88 is actually the same. Because it can go either way. <laughs> Alright so. What we're going to get here. With this is. Storm Shadows. Quiver. And uh, short. Sword Sheath. Now it's a different color. You do have a spot that hopefully will hold the uh, yeah, the bow and arrow. It tends to fall off, and I use, need to use some sticky tack. Sometimes that stuff just doesn't tend to work. The sticky tack does, but the, the weapons mounting system. You have the arrow, which does have a couple of different paint apps. So on the feathers, they're gold, and then the tip is silver. So it does look nice. Uh, it's soft, but it seems like it's actually pretty good. It kind of bounces back, kind of where you would want it to be. Now, if you don't know, these backpacks, you have a hole right there that this just slides right in. So, everything can be stored on the backpack. So, here is the bow and arrow. Again, compound bow. Same, same bow that we got with all the Storm Shadows. It is straight. Again, it is flexible and pliable. I do have an issues with how soft they are, but his, and this is the retro card, is really, really soft. Softer than the other ones. If it's pliable like this and it's going to bounce back to where it needs to be, I'm perfectly fine with that, especially with the bow and arrow, because you're going to be able to pull back just a little bit. But looking at this, it does look nice. 
I don't see any paint apps on it. And you can plug the arrow right in here. So you don't have to really worry so much about getting it lined up on the action figure's hand or anything. You just plug it right in there and then you can put it where you need it to be. So, And then you have the little triangle there, which you plug this in like so. And I do think the colors work pretty well. I think the gray and, and, and the, the maroon or burgundy, whatever color it is, I think it looks really nice. And again, you can see that it is nice and straight. Hopefully everything's gonna stay on. We have the two swords. Again, straight and straight. So I don't have no problem with that at all. They are soft. Again, I'm not, I don't have an issue with it being this soft if the buoyancy brings it right back to where it's supposed to be. So I don't have a problem with this softness of the swords. It's not bad at all. Because again, it kind of bounces right back. Sure, I can bend it and ruin it, but I can ruin a lot of things if I try to. So on this one, it does have the cobra symbol or the cobra head at the end. It's got a little bit of detail. The only paint app that you're going to have is on the handle. And the sword does look pretty nice. And the same thing with the short sword. If you're wondering why there's a short sword and a long sword, well, the original 1983-84, um... Storm Shadow had a short and a long sword. So when they made him, they made it. So that's how it goes. <laughs> All right. So you just kind of throw that in. Throw this one in. And again, I do think the colors actually work pretty well. Then we have the mask, which is, yes, a retooled mask of the Blue Ninja. Now they did put some deco up top there they used the same because they're kind of robotic but they painted up this one a little bit better so you can mix mix and match things if that's what you want to do looking at this one i think it looks pretty nice uh, paint looks pretty good i don't see any issues with it uh, the nose actually being hollow in the middle i think does give a more horror vibe than anything there you have the teeth and then you have the strap, which is painted black, along with the inside. So actually, the plastic is black. This is what is actually painted. So, now we'll quickly take a look at the figure here. And again, this is just a repaint of this figure right here. But this one actually gives way more deco, as you can see, as it's like Python Patrol. So, we'll quickly we'll take a look at everything. All right, so you know what? I'm going to back up the train here. It is almost a repaint, this, and I didn't bring her up. I believe that these arms are used from uh, Akiko. I'll probably have to go check that really quick before I finish it and make sure that I was right so no one corrects me. And if you need to correct me, that's fine. Um, I know the legs are Akiko's here. As you can see, still pinned. Yeah, not that big of a deal. And you know what? I'm not even going to say whose these are. I'll come back later on and say whose arms there are. But anyway, let's quickly take a look at it. The Jean-Claude Van Damme, no problem. And this is right out of the box, as you know. No issues there. Ankle rockers. Boot cut. Nice and soft. Nice and easy to bend. Very pliable. These are Zorana's arms, now that I look at them, because they don't really go up all the way. So, T-pose, you are going to be very limited because of this right here. Then you got your double pinless elbows right there. Wrists move back and forth. Your swivel. And she can look up and look down. And of course, the neck is also on its own joint. So she kind of has more, kind of move more, but really not that much. So quickly, we'll take a look at how this thing absolute, how this actually looks. And looking at the head here, you can see the cobra symbol on it. Uh, it looks like she does her makeup before she puts her mask on. Maybe she does it after she puts the mask on. I don't know. 
nice paint again i think the colors work really well i could do without this but again it's probably down patrol i think the red and the black and the gray look really work really well together you know she has this headband on again it looks nice has some detail zorana's arms you know and i know this stuff and unfortunately you forget you do so many reviews you look at so many figures now the vest is actually very pliable uh if i felt kind of feeling this it's uh, close to what the Jada uh, Street Fighter figures are. Not as pliable. I wish they would use something more pliable like that. I think it definitely would help. But again, you have this. Python Patrol right here. Again, I don't know why they need a ninja, but they got one. Um, the red. The paint looks really good. You got the yellow accents. I mean, this does look good for the, the apps that they use. Then she has her vest. So everything painted looks really nice. She's got a red belt. She is not a black belt. No paint to the legs at all. And then it just runs down the back. So I think it looks pretty nice. Now, as you can see with my blue ninja, I do not use this mask. But I think with her, we're going to throw the mask on and maybe leave it like that. It's definitely kind of uh, menacing. It also seems kind of big. This one... This one definitely went on easier than this one. As a matter of fact. Yeah, so this is way, way softer. Ooh, just even feeling it, yeah. So this is way softer than this one. This one's actually really hard and rigid. Which makes me think, it's not... You know, you get so much stuff. There's so much reuse. Sometimes you forget. So this thing goes on pretty easily. It's going to fit on like that. So it looks pretty good. We have the peg for the backpack. And boom. There it is. You know what? Now that I look at it, I don't know if I'm going to use her with that on. I don't really like it. I actually think the eyes and everything look... A little bit better like this. So, as you can see, I did not want to move any of these because just they're actually pulled out of my display, which I finally got back together and I really don't want to ruin it again. So, grab a couple swords here, throw them in her hand. And yes, she does have trigger fingers. That type of stuff does not bother me like it bothers some people uh, because you can hardly even tell. But if you do put a gun in her, hand then now how well she's gonna stand i don't know i have been one person who constantly bags on it people that can't stand their figures probably to the point that i'll lose subscribers lose people on instagram but again i'll say it i'll say it again and again spend a little bit of time and you can get your figures to stand people walk around my living room all the time they bounce into the cabinets. They do not knock things over. I'm not saying none have ever been knocked over. And I'm not saying some don't take a little bit of work. But right away you can see I can stand her. Now I need to work on it a little bit more. But this also isn't as flat as you would think. So. As you can see. Look my plunder links fell over. Look all these figures here. So don't tell me you can't stand your figures. And this looks kind of loud probably. Anyway. There, he is, there she is. That is Vipra, the Python Patrol Ninja that we didn't know we needed or wanted. <laughs> All right, so my final first thought on the Python Patrol Cobra Vipra is it's not a bad figure. I don't think it's something that we actually needed. And I do think it looks better without the mask, which I really wanted to use the mask, but I just don't like the way it fits. Again, a lot of reuse, but this is what helps create new figures in the line that they can do i think the weapons seem to feel better they're not as gummy but her legs are very gummy it's almost like whatever factory these things come out of maybe that's what it is the plastic that certain ones are using so if they could shore up the legs and they're not so gummy it'd be better the weapons although flexible uh, they seem to straighten out the way that they're supposed to so i don't have an issue with it again you may want to wait to see if this one goes on clearance at Target or go out and get it if you really want it or just skip it if you're like, hey, I don't need a Python Patrol Ninja. 
it's up to you. All right, so there you have it. That is the Cobra Vipra review. Not as bad of a figure as I actually thought it was going to be, but again, did I really need it? Probably not. Do you need it? I don't know. That's up to you. Uh, but it is available. October 1st is when they hit the shelves, and yes, Target had all the Flints and Vipras available, but people nabbed up those Flints pretty quickly, at least here in my area in the Detroit, on the east side at least. Anyway, that's it right now. You know, social media is Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, a punk with toys. Give me a follow, give me a sub. I'm not sure what they call it. The Facebook group page, Punks with Toys, because once you join, you are punk with toys. And last but not least, if you really like the content and you've been here this whole time, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video because I still have flint over there i got some two packs coming in really soon and who knows how much more stuff before the end of the year because hasbro feels that they need to just slam us with everything so anyway i'm gonna get out of here but you're not gonna go anywhere what you're gonna do is right in here click this video and watch the gi joe video and right down here is a playlist of all the gi joe videos that i've done take care